Hello everyone and welcome to today's video where I will be going through everything in this very heavy bag right here. I literally can't even like pick it up to show you. But yeah, this is my travel makeup bag, so I want to go through everything that I will be bringing with me on vacation next week. Before we get started, though, I do want to say, yes, I'm an overpacker. Yes, I'm crazy. Yes, I know this is excessive, but it's it's just me. It's just who I am. I'm an overpacker, and I just can't help it. So now that that is out of the way, let's get started. So before I get into exactly what I brought, I did want to show you the bag. So it has a zipper over here. Here I just put like some tools and then here I have some toiletries and then it opens up. Here I have all my brushes and it has like a little brush holder. And then there's actually a zipper right here that opens up that I have some more stuff in. It also has all of these little compartments and these you can actually remove. So you can make each compartment exactly what size you want. Um, this I've had for about two years and I love it. Again, it's from Amazon, so I will definitely link it below. All right, now we'll get started with everything that I brought. I figured that it would be better for me to show you guys like the view of the makeup bag instead of me like holding up each item. So I'm just going to get started. First up, I'm going to start with foundations and concealers. The first product I have is the ColourPop Pretty Fresh Tinted Moisturizer. And then I also have two shades of the Pretty Fresh foundation this is like literally my new favorite i am obsessed so i wanted to bring these two i also have the sephora spray foundation i actually really love this foundation i don't really talk about it much but this shade i have the shade honey is like my perfect summer shade so i definitely wanted to bring this then i have the graftobian palette this is the warm palette number two i love this palette and i think it's awesome for travel because you can literally i can use this as my concealer shade mix these two for foundation and then i have a contour shade as well and this is really really pigmented so this is awesome for like covering any blemishes or anything like that and i have my holy grail hourglass stick foundation i cannot travel anywhere without this this shade i have is actually a little light for me right now but um i still need to bring it because i literally I just cannot travel without this stuff. I have one powder foundation. This is the Makeup Forever Matte Velvet Skin. I love this stuff. This is great to use as an actual powder foundation. It's pretty full coverage for a powder foundation. And I love this to set my makeup as well, especially if I'm wearing like a tinted moisturizer and I do want more coverage. I love setting my face with this because it'll set it down really well, but also give me that extra coverage that I need. I have four concealers. I wanted to bring like a light coverage, medium coverage, full coverage. So for my light coverage, or this is really light to medium, is the Kosas Concealer. I really like this and I really like this on no makeup days to just conceal my under eyes. So I had to bring this. Then for my medium coverage concealer, I brought the Cover FX Power Play Concealer. This is totally a holy grail of mine. I absolutely love this stuff. And then for full coverage, I brought my favorite. This is the e.l.f. Camo Hydrating Concealer. I love this. I brought two shades because this shade is a little light, but then the shade is a little too dark, so I like to mix the two. Next up, I'll move into this section right here where I have powders and primers. So first up for primers, I have the Laneige Glowy Makeup Serum. This has quickly become my holy grail. I love this stuff. And then for smoothing in my pores and more of like a mattifying effect, I have the Winky Lux Whipped Cream Primer. This is awesome as well. In this section here, I also have a primer. This is the Smashbox Primer Water. I feel like I haven't really spoken about this on my channel or on my page, but I really, really love this stuff. I'll usually use this as the last step in my skincare routine. Like after I put on my sunscreen, I'll just spray this on really quickly and then I'll go into primers. Um, so these are the three primers I have. You're probably wondering where my Bobbi Brown face base is. I am bringing that, but that is actually gonna be in my skincare bag because I'll probably use that as my daytime moisturizer as well. Okay, now going back to this section, I have two powders. I have a loose powder and and a pressed powder for my loose powder. I have my Holy Grail Hourglass Veil Powder. I cannot travel without this. I didn't know if I wanted to bring this or my Ilia powder, but this is truly my Holy Grail, and I just, like I said, I couldn't travel without it. And then for my pressed powder, I have the Jouer Hydrate and Set Powder. I absolutely love this. I love this, and I love the Charlotte Tilbury Press Powder. But this one is slightly more matte, so I felt like this would be better, especially because I'm traveling to somewhere that it's going to be humid. Definitely wanted something that was a touch more matte. 
Next up, I'll move over to here, which are my bronzers. I only brought two cream bronzers. It was really hard to narrow this down, but I had to bring my Tom Ford shade and illuminate. This is just my holy grail, and it'll actually be my birthday while I'm away, and I just knew that I wanted to use this because I just love this stuff. And then I also brought my Huda Beauty Tantor in the shade Light. I love this as well. Next up for powder bronzer, the first one I have is the Cover FX Monochromatic Bronzer Duo in Sunkissed. I actually put up a poll because I could not figure out whether I wanted to bring this or the Charlotte Tilbury one, but you guys voted for this, so I brought this one. So this is like my matte bronzer, and then I always have to travel with my Holy Grail Glowy Bronzer. This is the Hourglass Ambient in Radiant Bronze Light, and this I just love. I cannot travel without this. And then, of course, I needed more of a contour powder, so I have this Makeup Forever Single. I always use this to contour my nose and my cheeks. I don't exactly know what color this is. They have like two or three different contour shades and this is just the middle contour shade. Next up, I have my blushes and my highlighters and I really tried to narrow this down, but I just couldn't because I just love blush. So first up, I have my Natasha Denona Bloom Palette. I absolutely love this palette. This cream right here is literally my holy grail. I love mixing these two. And then this I absolutely love as sort of like a cheek topper. So this I had to bring with me. Another palette I brought is the Dior Backstage Palette. Again, literally a holy grail. This is my holy grail highlighter. This white here is awesome for like an inner corner highlight. And then this I love to just tap my cheeks with. It's so freaking beautiful. So this, again, could not travel without it. Next up, I have a few more creams. So first up, I have the Nude Sticks Nudies Matte in the shade Sunkiss. This is almost like a bronzer blush hybrid. I absolutely love this for the high points of my cheeks and my nose because it gives you more of like that sunburn kiss look. So I had to bring this. Then I had to bring my Glossier Cloud Paint in the shade Puff. This is a total holy grail. I cannot travel without this, so this was a must. And then I have three shades of the NYX Sweet Cheeks blushes. So I brought this one. This was another thing that you guys voted on. I put this or I put the Milani blushes and I wanted a nude blush to bring, but you guys voted for this and I agree. Like I definitely want to bring this also because this has an awesome applicator, which makes it super duper easy. And then I also wanted to bring it in the orange shade because I wanted like a coral blush option to have. Last up, I have the pink shade in this. You did vote for the Kosas duo, but I don't know. I just wanted to bring this. I wanted to play around with these a little bit more. Next up, I have my two Holy Grail highlighters. Well, this is just a Holy Grail highlighter, and then I have it in two colors, basically. So first up, I have the Glowgasm Gold, and then I have the Pillow Talk Light highlighter. And again, these are a total Holy Grail. I could never travel without these. Next up, I'm gonna move to Setting Spray. So I have one right here. This is my sort of luminous setting spray. This is a setting spray I use that if I'm looking really powdery, this will really melt all the powders together. So this is my Glow Recipe Watermelon Glow Ultra Fine Mist. So that is a holy grail of mine. And then I have two more. I have a mini of the Makeup Forever Light Velvet Air. This is an absolute must for the summer in general. It just mattifies everything and leaves a gorgeous velvet finish to the skin. I'm actually gonna put it over here because I literally don't have room for it. And then last up, I have a mini of the Cover FX High Performance Setting Spray. I absolutely love this stuff as well. This is kind of a dupe for the Urban Decay All Nighter. I stopped using the all-nighter because I think the second or third ingredient is alcohol. This is alcohol-free and this is amazing. This will keep your makeup in place all freaking day. I don't want to say it's as good as the all-nighter, but it's pretty close. If you're looking for an alcohol-free option, then I would definitely recommend this. And really quick for my body, I have this highlighter. This is the Patrick Top Major Glow Highlighting Mist. Technically for your face, but I love this for my shoulders and my chest. So I think now I'm gonna move over to lips and then I'll go through my brushes and my eye stuff. So first I'll move you guys over here. The way I kind of organize these is that I just put all of like, since this is like a skinny section, I put all of sort of like my tall skinny lipsticks and my lip pencils. 
These are all my lip pencils. I'm bringing five of them. I will say that every single color in here is a nude. I don't have any reds and I have some pinky nudes, but that is about it. I'm just a nude type of girl. I'm going to say exactly which these are and then I will swatch them for you. So first up, I have MAC Cork. Next up, I have this Morphe pencil in Love Bite. Next up, I have the Lip Bar pencil in Straight Lovin'. Next up, I have this Morphe pencil in the shade Sweet Tea. And then last but not least, I have Charlotte Tilbury Iconic Nude. So here are the swatches. This is MAC Cork. This is Morphe and Love Bite. The middle shade is the Lip Bar in Straight Lovin'. This shade is Morphe and Sweet Tea. And the last shade is the Charlotte Tilbury Iconic Nude. So I love all of these. I love how the cork is a nice dark brown. And then I love having more of like the pinky ones. So these two and the Charlotte Iconic Nude. And then I love how Morphe Sweet Tea is sort of like right in the middle. It's not too brown, but it's not too pink. It's just right there. And I do want to call out that the lip bar, the middle one, the lip bar in Straight Lovin' is like my perfect match to my natural lip color. So this one I absolutely love. Also in this section, I have two of the Patrick Ta Lip Cremes. These are a holy grail. If you have not tried these, you need these in your life. And then I have a lip bar lip gloss and an Anastasia lip gloss. So I will swatch these for you as well. Here are the swatches right here. I don't know why I put it in this like really awkward place on my hand but these are the two patrick ta ones so this is the patrick ta lip creme and she's confident and she's independent this one is the anastasia gloss in toffee and this one is the lip bar gloss in first lady next up i'll show you all of the other lip glosses i brought this is Fenty Beauty and Fenty Glow, Holy Grail. This is the Lila B Lip Oil and Be Elegant. This is the e.l.f. Ride or Die Lip Balm. What's the shade of this? The shade of this is Tough Cookie. And then I have two Joseph Colors glosses. You guys already know how much I'm obsessed with these. I have Almond Butter and Don't Be Chai. So I will swatch all of these as well and put it up on the screen. Here are the swatches of all the glosses. This is the Fenty Fenty Glow. This is the Lila B and B Elegant. This is Joseph Colors and Don't Be Shy. Joseph Colors in Almond Butter and the Elf Ride or Die Lip Balm in Tough Cookie. And now for all of my bullet lipsticks, I have the MAC lipstick in Velvet Teddy. This is a holy grail for like the last five or six years. I have a new Tom Ford lipstick in Abigail. I actually haven't tried this out yet, but I wanted to bring it to try it. I have the Charlotte Tilbury in Hepburn Honey, also a total holy grail. And then I have two KKW lipsticks. I have Nude 3.5 and Classic K, and I will swatch these as well. Here are the lipsticks. This is MAC Velvet Teddy. This is the Tom Ford Abigail. This is KKW 3.5, KKW Classic K, and Charlotte Tilbury Hepburn Honey. So now I'll move on to some eye stuff I have underneath these in this section. I brought three eyeliners. These are two Urban Decay liners, a black one and a nude one. And then I have my Holy Grail Marc Jacobs eyeliner in Ro Coco. And then I brought three brow pencils. I have two of the Morphe ones and then one of the e.l.f. Instant Brow Pencil. To finish this section off, this last cube just has like a bunch of random tools. So for example, I have like an eyelash curler, I have eyebrow powder, I have a pencil sharpener for my lip liners, and then I have some gel for my eyebrows. Now to go into this section, these are all of my Holy Grail brushes, but I'm not gonna go through all of them. If you guys wanna see all of my favorite brushes, I will do a video on that. But in this zipper right here, I have all of my eyeshadows and eye stuff. Okay, that section was kind of a pain, so I just took everything out. I have two miscellaneous items. I have the e.l.f. Line and Define Eye Tape. I love these little things just to get a nice precise line for your eyeshadow. And then I also have the AOA Studio Brush Cleaner, I think it's called, or Brush Switch. You just put your like powder brushes in here and it gets it all nice and clean. I brought only three eyeshadow palettes. I don't know how, but I narrowed it down to these three. So the first one is the Anastasia Sultry Palette. I just love this palette. I think it's awesome to do a a neutral look a smoky look so on and so forth so this I absolutely had to bring and then I also brought two color pop palettes my favorite color pop palette of all time the going coconuts I just love the colors in this like I love this vibe I love 
just like the neutral tones, but I like that they're more cool toned. And then I also brought a newer palette of theirs. This is their In a Trance palette. I wanted to bring this because I just wanted something like nice and colorful. And for my birthday, I think I'm wearing a pink dress. Like I'm one of those people who brings like 14 options, but one of them is a pink dress. So I was thinking it'd be really cool to do like a sort of cool tone eye look with this, but then do like a cool pink inner corner moment. So I wanted to bring this as well. As far as cream eyeshadows, I have three that I brought. First one is the Huda Beauty Matte and Metal. You already know this is my holy grail. The shade Cashmere Robe is literally everything to me. And then I also brought the Lip Bar Liquid Eyeshadow in the shade Superstar. Also another holy grail of mine. I am just obsessed with this stuff. This is like the best liquid glitter eyeshadow. I brought one ColourPop Super Shock Shadow. This is in the color Deep Dive. This is like a great everyday color. I feel like it looks a lot darker in the pan, but I guess because I have like darker eyelids, it just comes out as a really nice cool tone type of bronze. And then I have two cream eyeshadows slash eyeliners. These are both from AOA Studio. They're the butter cream eyeliners. I have one in the shade Cupcake is the blue and the brown is Java Chip and these are such a holy grail, I love these. I'm running out of one of my Morphe eyebrow pencils so I brought a backup that I have and then I have a brand spanking new CoverGirl Exhibitionist. I have a L'Oreal Telescopic for my bottom lashes and then I have two of the Essence Lash Princess. This one's like almost out, this is a brand new one but you know when you open a brand new mascara and sometimes you need to like let it dry out a little bit. Like sometimes it's too liquidy. So I just wanted to bring both of these just in case. The last few things that are not in here yet are my sponges. So I'm bringing this AOA Studio Paw Paw Super Soft Blender. This is like a holy grail, but clearly I need to wash it. I just used it um, a second ago before this video. And then I'm also gonna bring a brand spanking new Eco Tool sponge because I just love that. And then I also have this e.l.f. sponge. I'm not exactly sure what it's called, but this was released when they released their camo hydrating concealer. And this sponge is like amazing, you need this. So yeah, those are the sponges I'm bringing. I'm not actually sure how to pack these. Um, but yeah, I think that's everything. All right, that is it for today's video. I thought it would just be super fun to go through all of my must-have travel items, things that I just cannot travel without. Definitely let me know in the comments what are your holy grail items or items that you absolutely cannot travel without. Also, I wanted to mention that I'm going to Cape Cod. I don't think I mentioned that in my intro, but yeah, that's where I'm going. It's about a five or six hour drive from where I live and I've never been there, so I'm super duper excited. And if you like this video, please let me know by giving it a thumbs up and I will see you in my next one. Bye.